for math. Just a simple thing that I can say. There's no way to get around it. You just have to know your numbers. So first thing that I would say to go over are your conversions. You absolutely need to know conversions. And everyone thinks, and I even thought to myself, why do I need to know how many milliliters are in a teaspoon? How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? You just need to know. So at this point, I can read it off to you backhand, not even thinking about it, because I practice that. So I would advise you to get some kind of sheet um, that gives you all the measurements um, in one area and has like maybe rounding rules or whatever you um, may have. Um, our teachers did it for us. So I will just say it for you guys. One teaspoon, okay, equals five milliliters. There are three teaspoons and one tablespoon. So there's 15 milliliters. There are two tablespoons and one ounce because there are 30 milliliters and one ounce. That's just, you know, you just start to know it. Um, centimeter to inches, um, there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. There are 12 inches in a foot. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So if somebody weighs, let's see, let's give you a number, 150 pounds, right? And they want you to convert that into kilograms, you would do Take your calculator and you need a simple calculator don't think about even bringing a phone into your test that's absolutely wrong you need a simple calculator when i mean simple i mean a dollar store calculator that just has very basic just numbers plus minus and the multiply signal that's it 68.18 so i would round that up to 68.2 because you only really want one decimal place and the one and then the eight you know if it's lower than five then you round down higher than five you round up Anything. Um, you want the nearest whole ounce so if you have um, let's say a baby that weighs 8 pounds 12.44 ounces you put it as 8 pounds 12 ounces if you have a baby that weighs 8 pounds 12.55 ounces then you put 8 pounds 13 ounces so you round to the nearest next whole number okay um, Centimeters are carried to the hundredth and rounded to the tenth, so also one decimal um, place after. So if you have 23.46, then it would be 23.5. So let's just go over some numbers so you guys can write this down and remember it. One ounce equals 30 milliliters. 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. You need to know your conversions going forward and going backwards. One teaspoon, five milliliters. One tablespoon is 15 milliliters because remember there are three teaspoons and one tablespoon. One kilogram, 2.2 pounds. 1,000 grams is one kilogram. 1,000 milligrams is one gram. 1,000 micrograms is one milligram. It's a lot of stuff to remember. Um, everybody learns differently. Um, for me, I just rem I just try to memorize it. I just remember that, okay, so if I, I would say, get a sheet, write all your numbers down. So you wanna know teaspoon, tablespoon, pounds to kilograms. Um, milliliters, how many milliliters are in an ounce, um, milliliters, liters, um, micrograms, grams, um, milligrams also. You need to know all those numbers. And if you think you won't use it, you will be shocked because it will be in a test. Just saying, I've seen it. So, um, one of these are great. This does give you a lot more information that you actually need to know. Um, but it does help so I would say get it until you can until you're a little bit more you know proficient in it and you understand what they're asking and there is no way to get around math but to practice that's just it sorry um so your math I would say practice it over and over and over again as many times as you can i will work on a worksheet for you guys to get you guys answers um i, I mean to put out questions and then we can practice the answers at um at a different time but one thing i would say is you can go on to google and put in nursing practice um nursing math and you can find something like that um i have a book which is called med math which i talked about in one of my earlier um videos you can look that up and you may be able to find some packets. Um, possibly, maybe I'll um, put up like a, a sheet so you guys can see it. Um, 
I need to practice my math honestly before I tell you guys how to do IV calculations and all that stuff so I will practice my math a little bit so my first tip to you guys is get a sheet where you print out everything that you need to know so wait you have pounds kilogram gram milligrams know your conversions going backwards and forwards and then know how to round it okay then if you're gonna do um, measurements um, you're gonna have centimeters okay um, inches know how to round that as well if you're gonna do give medication um, by a cup or a syringe know what the syringe size so you know how much you're actually dosing and it's very very important for you to know your math everyone thinks that it's just a joke but I don't know if anyone has seen this recently there was a nurse who gave the wrong amount of medication to a baby and the baby actually passed away and she was dealing with so much guilt because she's done this over and over again and just made a very she made a mistake and she was so upset that she committed suicide so this is very serious knowing your math is absolutely vital it's important there's no way around it you don't want to find a way around it you don't want to be the nurse that makes a mistake and somebody else has to pay for it with their life or their hurt or anything like that so please know your math know your math okay there's no shortcuts in nursing school not if you want to be a great nurse so um liquid medications uh milliliters so know your volumes so no milliliters liters know that stuff know how to round um so with milliliters liters one decimal place after okay um if you're giving capsules or tablets you can't give 1.9 of a tablet you give two a whole number tablet okay if you have a one if they ask for one and a half if the tablet is scored you can cut it in half fine if it is a pill that is encased in one of those gel coatings there you can't cut that in half okay so make sure you're cutting the tablet that is scored already that says half the amount and you can do it okay if scored not if it's not then no um so volumes less than one milliliter then it should be um rounded to two decimal places after the decimal okay so if you have 0 0.969 milliliters that is going to be 0 0.97 also remember to put your zeros no trailing zeros 1.30 wrong 0 0.97 right what i mean by no trailing zeros is no zeros after the number it's already understood that a zero is in that place so you don't put a zero there uh iv rates so you can't have 15.4 drips how do you measure that you can't so it's 15 15.5 16 okay and iv pump drip rates can be 15.4 because the pump is able to measure that better so it gets a little confusing there's no way around it just absolutely practice get a sheet make write everything down write it down multiple times quiz yourself make um i don't know what is it called quizlet um put flashcards you test yourself you do it over and over and over again until you have it down packed that's the only way that you're gonna pass your math no way around it okay i did not get a hundred every single time i took my math there were times that i had an off day or i made tiny mistakes or i forgot to my rounding rules and i messed up and before we start every term, we have to take a math exam. So when I start up in September, I have to take a math exam. So you better believe I will be practicing my math. And I'm glad that Red the Educated Beauty actually brought this up because guess what I'll be doing now? Practicing some math. So that's my tip. Um, I will make a video for you guys later in the week showing you guys um, the questions that I came up with and I will show you how to work them out okay so I hope this helps um, read the educated beauty if you have any other questions for me please email me if anyone has any questions for me um, you can send an email to nurse and you are s e Charlene s h a r l e n e at gmail.com um, email your questions to me and I will try to answer them the best that I can if I do not feel comfortable giving you the information because I don't know it well enough myself, I will just let you know that. But I do not ever want to post anything that I'm not sure of and confuse you. But I also say this, um, anything that I say may be different for your program. So please know what your ranges are. 
and do not go by my word as the end all be all okay so hope this helps you guys let me know if you have any questions i'll talk to you guys later bye